Oh, it's Christmas time. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Christmas time. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's Christmas time. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, hello. Welcome back to the Man United fan stand. It is almost Christmas. That which is tomorrow. Christmas Eve today. I'm really excited for Christmas tomorrow. So, yes. But the day after is Manchester United versus Huddersfield. I'm also very pumped up for both of those as well. I'm pumped up for Christmas. I'm pumped up for Manchester United versus Huddersfield. So, yeah. Right. So, can Manchester United beat Huddersfield? I mean, you know, um, as I said, I'm, I'm really excited for this game. I think we will win it. I, I, I think we'll beat Huddersfield 4-0. I think it... This should be simple, in my opinion. I really do think that this should be a simple win for Manchester United. I mean, it's it Huddersfield win Manchester United. We got a league on the social. Uh, this is his first home game for uh, at Manchester United now, so he's returning back to Old Trafford on Boxing Day. But you know, I'm I'm very really excited for it. I think we'll I, I think we'll absolutely crash them just like we did to Cardiff. If, if we can crash Cardiff, we can crash Huddersfield, obviously, because they're probably on the same level, to be honest with you. So, yeah, but look, we're Manchester United. Let's keep on climbing up the table. Sick for Christmas. We're, like, eight points off the top four. But, you know, Solskjaer, let's win our matches under him. And, yeah, you, you know, let's just go on and win because, you know, we need wins at Manchester United. It's so, so important. We haven't got... I, I feel like, you know... It, it, I, I feel... When was the last time we got two wins in a row? That... It, it would feel really, really good for me. You know, just getting two wins in a row at Manchester United. And, you know, after Christmas as well. That'd be good. But, you know, I, I, I think we will win against Huddersfield and Boxing. There, I think, you know... This is a big match for Oli Solskjaer and his men and 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 everything so you know i i, I think we're gonna win it's it's gonna be an absolutely uh brilliant match in my opinion that i think we will dominate it i think yeah, there's no reason why we shouldn't dominate it and i think we will dominate the match um i mean you know look to me honest with you we've got to it will be embarrassing if we lose to be honest but you know i mean obviously it will but we're manchester united they're huddyfield after all so yeah, um, my predicted team for it. I'm rushing straight into it now as I'm so excited for Christmas. But, you know, yeah, just getting into the Christmas mood. Um, my team, um, in goals, David De Gea. Um, in centre-backs are Bailey. And centre-backs are probably Bailey and Rocco. Left-back, let's play Luke Shaw. Uh, Right-back, let's play Valencia. Uh Centre midfielders, let's play Pogba, Fred and Herrera. Um, and then up front, let's play... Uh, let's play... Um, let's play Lingard on the right. Uh, Rashford up front. No, not... No, no. Lingard on the left. Rashford up front. Martial on the right. I think that'd be a good team for Manchester United. I think we'll win the matter what. I mean, you know, look, obviously we got to be winning it. Um, a, a, against Huddersfield. I mean, look, I think this is simple uh, for us. Um, I mean, you know, we played them at their stadium before we did lose, but at home, I think we're obviously going to win. If it was at their stadium, I would be worried a bit under Jose, but, you know, I'm definitely confident under Ali Sol. So, I mean, with Jose Mourinho as Manchester United manager, I would obviously think we would win the match. But if Jose was here, my score prediction would probably be about two two one United. I think that look, that that'd be my prediction if Jose Mourinho was at the club. But he's not. Look, we've moved on to a new era under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I think you know he's gonna go much better for Manchester United. Can he get us top four? That's also a big question. And will he be the next Manchester United long term manager? I mean, you know, the, the, my answer is we can't say anything yet. His first game was against Cardiff. Yeah, we thrashed them 5 1. You don't want to go straight into it. If we beat Huddersfield, I'll be happy. I still wouldn't hand him the job just yet. He, he has to prove us right. I mean, you, you know, after Huddersfield, I think we got Bournemouth. So, uh, uh, and then sooner or later, we got Tottenham Hotspur. So, you know, he, he needs to prove us wrong, to be honest. 
he, I mean, you, you know, yeah, yeah, he does need to prove us wrong. He needs to win our matches. He needs to beat Tottenham because, you know, that's going to be his hardest test. we got easy matches that we should win no matter what. And then we move on to Tottenham. That's our tough... That that's going to be a tough one because we're against them away. And after we're against Tottenham, I think look, we'll win it. But it's going to be a tough one. I think we can beat Tottenham, but let's see if Solskjaer can prove us. A lot of us Manchester United fans rolling, you know, play the football we want to see. I mean, you know, he will obviously bring us the attacking football. Can we outplay? But when we play Tottenham, can we outplay them like we did to Cardiff? I think we'll outplay Huddersfield. Um, look, without a shadow of a doubt, we will absolutely outplay them, just like we did against Cardiff. That, uh, as I said, they're like similar teams. We can beat them no matter what at Old Trafford. Yeah, yeah, my prediction is four 0 I think the players that are going to score, I'm going to say, I think Martial's going to get two. I think Lingard's going to get one. Um, and I think Pogba's going to get one as well. Uh, I, I want to see a goal from Pogba. I think Pogba will score. I really do think Pogba will score. I mean, you know, I'm I'm, I'm really hoping he does. And that, you know, this is actually a full-time improvement from Paul Pogba. Not just suddenly wanting to step up against Cardiff. No, it's got to be full time. I mean, you know, I, I want to see the best out of Paul Pop, but I think it's important that we do it, Manchester United, because, you know, I mean, look, we know Pogba's a world class player, we just haven't really seen it yet at Manchester United. I mean, you know, look, we obviously need to see it, and I, and I, I, I want to see it again because he's an incredible player. He, he's really skillful and stuff when he's on the ball, so I think. Yeah, he, he just needs to keep the good work up, to be honest with you, and let's see it against Huddersfield after Christmas. That's the day where let's go on, let's step up, because it's going to be a really, really interesting match. So, yeah, but, you know, ho hopefully we get the whole team at their best, um, because, you know, that that is 100% what we need. We need the team trying as hard as they can um, on, on Boxing Day. So, I think... Look, this is going to be tough after Christmas. Hopefully, they don't get too drunk. But well, well, they won't because they, they won't be able to play. But you know, ho hopefully, we've got all of our players back for it. Hopefully, they are all on top form. Uh, I mean, you know, look, we need them on top form for it. Um, yeah, you've got Christmas break now, so use this, have a bit of a rest, and then go out there Boxing Day and absolutely destroy how they feel. So, you know. Uh, Hopefully that Cardiff 5-1 win gives us quite a bit of a boost going into this Huddersfield game. I mean, you know, it's not, it's not like it's tough. We should be winning this no matter what. So, and, you know, I, I believe that we are. I 100% I think that, that we are going to win. I mean, you know, there's no reason why we shouldn't win it. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm really, really confident after that win. It gives me more confidence. So I think it should give us... All of us Manchester United fans, quite of a big boost, uh, you know, with Oli Solskjaer as Manchester United manager and actually thrashing a team 5-1 ever since Fergie's gone. And Solskjaer's the man in his first match against Cardiff City, you beat them 5-1. The Mourinho didn't do that, Van Gaal never did it and Moyes obviously never did it. They never did it and... A caretaker manager, Oli Solskjaer, who isn't really what you call a professional manager, came into Manchester United and actually did that. I mean, you, you know, we did say managing a club is easy when you have good players playing. And, you know, we've got some really, really good players in the team. They played well under him. Solskjaer seems confident. Look, Solskjaer is always going to seem confident. Even when going into these big teams, I mean, you know, uh, under Oli Solskjaer, I can't wait to go in and face lots of these big teams under him. But you know, look a again, we can't we can't say what we think on him too quickly. We can't rush in straight into it because we might lose to Huddersfield. I don't think we will. And then lots of people are going to be like, oh no, uh, um, oh we should never have backed him. It, it was just Cardiff. I mean, you know, you know, that's what the, some other clubs are going to say. But I'm going to back Solskjaer, even if we do lose it. But, uh, look, you, you can tell how confident I am. I think 4-0 to Manchester United. So, yeah, but, you know, there, there's no reason why how why we should be losing it and how could we lose it. There's, 
I, I, I think we get guaranteed a win. We are definitely guaranteed a win against Cardiff. Uh, not Cardiff. Well, we were guaranteed the win against Cardiff. And we're guaranteed the win against Huddersfield. So, you know, let's see some more world-class uh, football. And let's just see our players, you know, playing like world-class football players. Proper footballers. Not Mourinho footballers. Proper Manchester United footballers. Because they play for Manchester United. They don't play on the Mourinho. I mean, Union. Right, you know, they play on the Solskjaer. Who actually knows stuff about Manchester United. I mean, as I said, that's a good thing. Solskjaer has experience of Manchester United. That's a good thing. And that, that, that is really important. That someone comes in, they know a lot about the club. That's what we need next. Does Potts know quite a lot? No, he doesn't really. But... If we stick with Solskjaer and Solskjaer actually gets up somewhere, I, I would stick with him. If, if he gets us into the top four, I'm 100% sticking with him. But, you know, it, will they give him the long-term contract? It, it is looking, it, you know, so far it's looking likely, but there is a chance Poch could come in. So, Dan, I mean, who would I prefer, Poch or Dan? Lots of people are saying that they want Poch. Why would they want Poch over Zidane? I think right now the football counts 100%. I mean, you know, Solskjaer's one of those managers who rarely wins trophies for these big clubs, to be honest with you. He, you wouldn't expect him to come in and win a trophy at Manchester United. Uh, uh, Potts could, Potts could do it. He's, I mean, you know, he's improving Tottenham and Hotspurs every season, so... You know, there's he, he could come into Manchester United. He could give us a massive boost. I mean, on the Pochettino, I don't believe we will win it first season. Maybe second season under him we would. But, you know, would he be long-term? We need to manage who we, how, you know, who we know will be at the club for a while. I mean, you know, Tottenham are never going to sack Poch. They're happy with him. I, I, I don't know why they're not. I think if Poch is still at Tottenham, there's definitely going to be a title coming for them. It could take us a few years on the pot, but, you know, we want to rush in and get a trophy now. I mean, you know, Tottenham never got one. But uh, right now, as a club at Manchester United, we're in a real rush to get one. We don't want to be waiting around for Pochettino to, to suddenly come up with an idea after about six years. No, we don't want any waiting around for him. So, you know, that's the thing. But, you know, there's no waiting around for Solskjaer. The football's good. There is a chance. I mean, I think we'll win the CFA Cup. I think we're going to win it. I, I think we're going to win the FA Cup. The title's gone. I don't think we're going to win the Champions League. I mean, no one thinks we're going to win the Champions League. I ho hopefully we do. It, I, I'll be in shock if we win the Champions League. Um, I, I really want to win it. I really want to win the trophy on the Solskjaer. I think that'd be really good because, you know... I, right at this moment, I, I would be happy with Solskjaer as Manchester United manager, but... As I said, I'm. That's why I said at this moment. I haven't said right. I'm definitely happy with Solskjaer. We're definitely gonna have him. I definitely want him. I'm always gonna back him. No, you can't say that. If anyone says that, you you you, you can't. And you can't not back Solskjaer. I mean, you know, some people didn't want Mourinho and they didn't back him whatsoever. I mean, look, you should have backed Mourinho even if you knew he wasn't the right man. I backed him in until. It, until I could, I, I backed him for as long as I could, but until we hit that Valencia nil nil, I couldn't back the guy anymore. So, you know, it, it was some really really frustrating scenes at Manchester United so far this season. But hopefully Solskjaer is here to change it. We got Reading next in the FA Cup. I think we'll thrash them uh, under Solskjaer as well. I mean, you know, we'll we'll thrash little teams under Solskjaer. We chose it. We never thrash little teams. That's the exact same with Van Gaal. They literally never could thrash little teams. I mean, just don't mention David Moyes. Let's just not talk about David Moyes because he he did nothing. He barely got us any wins. So, you know, the Mo Moyes did nothing. Just don't mention him. I'm, I'm just going to say the example with Mourinho and Van Gaal. They never beat the big team. I mean, not big teams. They, they never could beat the small teams like 5-0. That they, they never did, they couldn't, they just, you know, they were defensive managers, defensive managers just want to part the bus, I mean, you know, that was Mourinho's tactic, probably Mourinho was the worst offensive tactic out of, out of all of them, which, I mean, the Mourinho's one was probably, 
uh, keep Fellini as a super sub. Bring Fellini on, um, um, you know, as as soon as the second half starts. And then, you know, sit back. Then at the last minute, wait for the other. Just try and tie the team out by passing the ball around or, you know, letting them come at us. And then suddenly kicked, kicking the ball straight up to Fellini in the box. And then scoring. That was Mourinho's tactic, I think. Look, look, Solskjaer doesn't have one of those stupid tactics. He has an attacking tactic where you just attack and then try and get the goals. That's what we need. Me like for get the ball to Martial, get the ball to Rashford, or get the ball to Lingard for them to run the ball up the field, cross it in the box. Someone get ahead on it because we were good at that. Um, and you know, against Cardiff, we weren't scared because usually we seem scared to try and go on and get the ball. Against Cardiff, I noticed the difference. We in we were putting lots of pressure and, you know, we went in for the tackles. We tried to intercept. Sometimes it didn't go wrong and, you know, once we intercept, we don't want to, you know, take a massive touch. Then it goes straight to them. I think, you know, we got the intercepting right. But now, we just have to work on some stuff. Solskjaer's got the idea but you just have to work on how to do it. That That's the thing that we need to work on. And I think Solskjaer's um, got, got it all covered right now, Manchester United. Um, like he should, he knows what he's doing at Manchester United. He knows what Manchester United is all about. And 100% he knows what he's doing at the club. Um, and, and that's what we need. We need a manager that knows what they're doing. Because in the past, we got no one who has a clue. Fergie was here for 26 years. At the start, he had no clue what Manchester United was. Then, you know, we started going in because we were doing well under Fergie. Fergie didn't win the title first season. But, look, remember, we were a good club uh, before Fergie came in, though. We still were a good club. I mean, you know, we weren't the best team in the world when Fergie was here, but we were a good club. We were a good club. Ever since Fergie's came in, our history at Manchester United has been absolutely amazing. And, you know, that 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 is just what we want to see in Manchester United. We just want our history being, you know, really high and everything. But right now, the Mourinho just ruined our history. He he ruined it all. Van Gaal, Moyes, Mourinho, they've all done it. Solskjaer is here to bring it back to Manchester United. Actually, you know, you know, to just make us win trophies and to... And to make our club well known again, because it was just not well known. I mean, no one wanted to. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm sure we, I, I'm sure we lost a few fans. Some people stopped supporting Manchester United, but I'm not the kind of person that does that. I'm a loyal fan to Manchester United, and I would never stop supporting the club, no matter what where we go. Championship League, one league, two, the Knicks. The Nations League, or no, the National League, not the Nations League, but that's never going to happen with Manchester United. I'm telling you that. I, uh, we're never getting relegated. I, I can promise you, we're never getting relegated. We're not getting relegated this season, and we're not going to be in a relegation battle. I mean, you know, at, you know, if, if we still have Mourinho now, we could be probably in a mid table battle, but I'm confident under. So, so right now, right now I'm confident. Let's keep backing him and let's just try and get the win against Huddersfield. So, you know, it is a big match for him to just, you know, try and keep his Manchester United fans happy right now at the club because that is what we want to be. We, 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 you know, we need to get what's best at Manchester United. And, you know, that that, that is just to be happy at the club. We, we need this Manchester United team to just you know do very well so let's have the christmas break let's take it on board let's have the rest and let's go out there let's absolutely destroy them that is what we need to do i think yeah let's give Solskjaer some money in january buy buy some players to build the team i think right now we probably did miss out on a few signings but I actually look, we probably didn't but I, actually you know what I, I don't think we did because when we went out there Against Carl, we absolutely thrashed them. So, you, you know, maybe we didn't, but I think we should go out there and we should spend money in January no matter what, as I think we do need signings at this club to just, you know, improve ourselves a bit because, you know, there probably are still a few problems at Manchester United. Solskjaer's here to just, you know, try and fix these gaps in Manchester United. He just needs to fix the gaps at the club. That that's why Solskjaer's here. Then give it on to the next manager, or it he, it could be him. You never know what can happen. Can Solskjaer pull off a miracle this season? 
and yeah look you never know hopefully he can i'm hoping he can and i'm backing social and i'm and i am having faith that he can so you know look, let's see what happens at manchester united so yeah a anyway I'm, I'm i'm gonna be ending the video here so yeah um yeah i, I want to wish you all a me uh, very well, a merry merry christmas for tomorrow and everything so yeah, I, I might be live tomorrow. I, I don't have a clue if it's it, uh, it's Christmas. I don't have a clue. I, there's, I, I, I might, I, I might do a quick eight minute vid, ten minute vid tomorrow or something. But you know, uh, if, if I don't see you tomorrow, then uh, I wish you all a very merry Christmas. So you know, yeah, very looking forward for the United game on uh, Huddersfield, uh, Manchester United versus Huddersfield. So yep. Yeah. Take it easy tomorrow, and let's see how United do on Boxing Day. So, yeah, f thank you for watching. Um, Merry Christmas to all of you. Can't wait for tomorrow. Let's see what happens tomorrow. So, yeah, have have a great day tomorrow. Merry, um, big Merry Christmas for me. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Sorry, bye.